God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Guys, this is our last and final week of the Pep Talk Prayer Series, and today we are talking about the plot, okay? The plot is on, I believe it is on page 66 in the book, and guys, if you don't have a copy of the book, you can hit the link right on the screen, the screen right now, and you can get a copy so that you can follow and keep up. I am excited about how the book is um, being broken down and you guys are enjoying it and really, you know, giving great feedback. I really appreciate that. Um, Friday, we're going to round out the series with Life Plan. Now, I did something a little different that I didn't do in the two previous weeks. And on today, I'm going to talk about the plot, but it's also connected to Life Plan, which is also on page 66. And that is going to be the last one that we talk about on Friday. Okay. So with that being said, let's talk about it. So basically the plot is talking about how the enemy has a very clear plot to stop us from being inside of God's perfect will. So I'm going to read that piece to you and then I will, um, you know, just wrap up with a couple of words. So basically you must take care. All it takes is one move from God to put you right where you need to be. If you know that you've been guilty of having some things in your heart that don't belong, how can you address it? Let's do a heart check. Have you been leaning on your own understanding? Number two, have you removed God from directing your steps? And number three, are you delighting yourself in him or in the things that you want? Those are usually pretty tough questions that I don't know about you, but I'm just not walking around asking myself those questions every day when I have a tough time. So I thought it was really important to put it in the book because it would just cause you to stop and pause and think about it, just to really consider what it was like for you. So I want you to think about this. When you are thinking about your life and truly desiring to be inside of God's perfect will, what does that look like for you? How do you want to feel in that space? How do you want that to come together specifically for you? This is important because if anybody's going to plot on your life, it needs to be you. You need to be the one plotting on all of the moves and all of the things that you are going to do so that you you can succeed and do the things that are going to give you joy, the things that you know are going to help the greater good. That's going to vary for multiple people, but something that I want you to keep in mind is this. When you realize that your ability to get things done and your ability to execute or even your ability to see great things happen with your hard work, your sweat equity, your tears and all of that stuff, you have to ask yourself, if it was all taken away from me, how would I be? Would I be okay? Y'all, the ultimate plot is for you to keep your focus on things that be, that can become idols to you. No, it's not saying that when you work hard on something that you shouldn't focus on it and you shouldn't give it what it needs to flourish and survive. But what we should never do is give something so much weight, make it carry so much weight that someone else can take a look at your life and say, hey, if we knock that out right there, we can take her out. If we, if we, if we jump in right there, we can take him out. That's what you don't want to do. That's why it is so important that when it comes to the plot of your life, the focal point of it needs to be God. The focal point of it needs to be that when people look at you, when they do try to plot or scheme or do any against, anything against you, they're going to see and know that your connection to the Father is so great. It's going to make them think twice. I don't know if you've ever seen that meme before where it says, oh, shucks, such and such is up. Not a devil scared. That is what your goal should be. You don't want to get so cavalier and so focused on the things that are happening in front of you and the things based on your needs and your desires and how you have to have certain things going that you miss the fact that there's a very strategic plan and plot on your life that God has given you. Yes, there's a plot to the story, just like there's a moral to the story, but you have to decide. You have to decide 
How is that going to look for you and how you're going to position yourself to see that thing come to pass and the way it's meant to come to pass? Now, I'll leave you with this before I go. I want you to tell me in the comments if the enemy was looking at your life right now and he had to assess it based on you genuinely seeking to live in God's perfect will. Mind you, nobody's doing all of this right, so don't don't take it seriously to that point. But if they were generally able to look at you, could he catch you slipping? Is this something that you just know God keeps telling you not to do or to do and you just be like, nah, I don't want to do it? Just pay attention. If he, if the enemy wanted to pull a sneak attack in certain areas of your life, would he be able to do that? Think about that. Drop that in the comments for me. So I'm glad you guys listened in. I'm glad that you, you came through today. And Friday will be our last episode of the Pep Talk Prayer Series. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Please turn on your notifications as well. And right now you can actually look at the screen right here. See? Boop. And get the book if you don't have a hard copy of the book. And you can also go right here and you can look at the entire series. All of the episodes are in that one playlist. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Check me out on wiretoinspire.com. There you go. And so, hey, I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too.